Hello everyone, I'm Chase of Rocky Mountain ATVMC giving you a closer look at the 2.0 GPX Trail Waterproof Hydration Pack from Liat. All right, everyone, thanks for checking in. So today we're giving you a closer look at this 2.0 GPX Trail Waterproof Hydration Pack from Liat. If you have been searching for a hydration pack that is waterproof, no rain cover needed, here is your solution. So today we're gonna go through, we'll talk about everything that you're getting with this, all the pockets, all the adjustability to, know, to help you know if this is the pack that's gonna be best suited for you. Now as far as storage capacity goes, I'm gonna say it's a medium sized pack. You have five liters of cargo capacity, plus your two liter hydration bladder that does come included with this pack. So as you can see, you have the welded shell construction, again, fully waterproof, you have water resistant zips on here. Now if we start with the straps, so with these shoulder straps, you can see they are pretty thin and they're just gonna be a mesh fabric. So what's nice about that, this pack's actually pretty dang lightweight, but being thin, being that mesh fabric is just gonna help these things breathe. Now the way you adjust these shoulder straps is a little bit different than what you see on most packs. So up here on the top of the shoulder, you have this little gray clip. So the way this works, you're gonna undo that clip and then you're just gonna pull it right off of the strap. And then you'll notice too, as you work your way down the strap here, you have these little compartments or these little sections here. So you're gonna take that, you would actually pull it up and then route it right back through that clip. And that's how you're going to adjust, come on there, there it goes, the actual shoulder straps. So it's simple to do, again, you can use that to lengthen or shorten those. And as you work your way down, you've got actually two sternum straps. So these are actually just little buckles if you wanna call it that. So very easy to use. And you can see you do have, those are all gonna be on stretch cords. So they're not adjustable, but they do have some stretch there. And as you work your way down here on the right side, you get down here, you have one pocket here. So I'll kind of open that and show you how big that is. So you can see I get about, ah, about half my hand inside there, maybe a little bit less. So you can put a small item in there. You also do have this whistle that will come on there. So if you do find yourself in a situation, maybe you go down, or maybe you're just doing a hike and you get lost, or for whatever reason, you blow into this thing, they're actually pretty dang loud. So just a nice little emergency feature that you have included there. Now when you look at the left side, so right now I've got the SIP tube coming over the left shoulder and down, but what's unique about this that I wanna point out is there's actually four ways to route the SIP tube on this pack. You can do up over the left or right shoulder, but you can also route this down the bottom. So there's a few different ways and that's gonna be rider preference. My, my opinion or my recommendation is to experiment and find out which way you feel works best for you. But you've got your SIP tube coming down here. Now you have this clear pocket right here on the left side. They call this a cell phone pocket because it's clear and you can use a touch screen through this plastic sleeve. However, I do wanna point out, I have an iPhone 10. It's not the plus version. It does not fit in here. So it's not the biggest pocket as far as, you know, your more current cell phones today that are getting really big. So I think it could be a little bit bigger, but for people that do have smaller phones, hey, it's an added bonus for you. Also, you could put an MP3 player inside here as well. You'll notice too that down at the bottom, you do have a little grommet for your headphone uh, wires to come out of as well. So those are your straps down here. You notice that on the belt, you've got plenty of adjustability there as well. And underneath that, well not underneath, but in the back, if I undo these, you notice that you do have some padding here going along the back. Also, you notice that you have this reflective material. What's nice about this is that it keeps the body heat away from the hydration bladder. So it's just gonna help keep your drinks cool. So you've got that insulation barrier there. And then also you notice down here at the bottom as well as up here at the top, you have this rubberized coating. Just adds a little bit more grip, just kind of helps keep the pack in place a little bit better. So if we look at the front, let's talk about pockets. So the first pocket you're gonna see is just right here on the front. Undo this. So this is just one main compartment. There's not gonna be any additional, you know, organizational compartments inside here, but it is pretty large. You can see, get my whole hand inside. They're pretty dang easy, about halfway up my forearm. Do that one up. And then you have your large compartment. So when I open this, there's your hydration bladder. Again, your two liter capacity. I like that you have the slide top. That's gonna help. It's not gonna leak. They do a great job with that. And then, pretty unique. So you've got your main compartment in there. Again, large capacity, again, five liters. But what they include, give you a little better view of that. You can actually see that you've got this elastic webbing inside here. What they include is just a little tool roll. So you can see I open that. That gives you just a few compartments to put your tools, maybe some tire irons, some wrenches, whatever you want. You put it inside here, it rolls up nice and easy. And again, it's just a nice little additional spot. 
to put any additional tools that you might want to take in your pack. So I'll put that back in there. Zipper back up. So the last couple things I want to show you, you've got compression straps here on the side. So if you want, you can expand those, allow this pack to grow if you're really putting a lot in there. You also do, you can see, you do have some extra clips on here. So if you want to attach some additional items, you could do that. And also down here at the bottom, just like with the sides, you've got these straps, same purpose. You can compress everything down or open those up, allow the pack to grow as you load it all up. And the last thing is you'll notice right here in the bottom right corner, it's gonna be on both sides. I mentioned it earlier, the SIP tube can go over the shoulders or out the bottom. So right here you have these slits, that's where the SIP tube will come out the bottom of the pack. And that is it, that is the LIAT 2.0 GPX Trail Waterproof Hydration Pack. If you have questions or comments, leave those below. And again, if you're looking for a waterproof pack that's got a good amount of storage capacity, definitely one that you wanna check out. To pick yours up, you can click on the link or head over to RockyMountAtvMC.com. Remember, all orders are over $75 ship free. And also, if maybe this isn't quite what you're looking for and you want to see some other great options, we even have buyer's guides where we show you some of our favorite hydration packs, both for small, low-profile options as well as some of your larger options. So if you're not sure, give those a watch. That's going to give you a good starting point and some other great options. I'm Chase. We'll see you on the trails.